All right, this is going to be the first thing for the whole string skipping. So, since you haven't been really working on anything, I think it's what you said in particular. I'm going to start with what I feel would be a good basic thing. Um, if you can get this to 250 or faster, uh, then just turn everything, you know, all eighth notes to sixteenths and all quarters to eighth notes. But we'll demonstrate some stuff here, different speeds with the eighth note way. One, two. 60 beats per minute. Double time, 120. One, two, three, four. So when you're working it up with the eighth note way, the way it's written, and your first time through it, if you're getting past 250, just keep going as far as you can. Um, and eventually brain fatigue will set in any way, which would be a good place to stop. So I feel that's best to do it this way in the initial stages, since if string shipping is new to you, it's just going to help solidify the mechanics a lot better. And again, if you get past two, you know it's 250 or above, uh, just increase all the eighth notes to sixteenths, all the quarter notes to eighth notes. So, just to be clear on how it sounds, so 60 beats a minute with the increased uh, value of the note or increased rhythm speed, it would be one, two, three, four. So if you got any questions, let me know. And yes, what to do the next step here. So when you reach a point you can't get any faster for three days, send a video demonstrating stuff. So play it at the slow speeds, play it at 60, and then play it at some various speeds as you get up close to your max. I don't expect you to record a demo of your max speed unless you're like fully warmed up and ready to try it again. Because, you know, a max speed means you got to be pushing yourself to your limit with these things. So at least close to it, like maybe 10, 20 beats a bit of the way from the max speed would be good. All right, good luck, and I'll see you soon.